Jonathan Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 and welcome back to the Upper Mississippi River Valley where corn harvest is in full swing here. Actually, we're uh, doing really good on the corn harvest. And we're probably like two-thirds, maybe three-fourths of the way done here with the field. We're to the long rows here this time. So if we switch over to a screen, we can actually see what's harvested here. Yeah, you can see we are making some good progress here. I wonder if I should go check what's going on down here. This looks a little bit uh, suspicious. Yes, it does. I'm not sure what's going on here. Is this combine? I'm trying to get to that combine there. That, okay, that combine is full. It needs to be unloaded. This tractor here is... Not sure what this tractor's doing. I might just leave this here for a few minutes on seven just to see once what happens. Uh, for those who uh, joined us in last night's live stream here, uh, horseplay does pretty good here at the unloading, and that's what we're running here, by the way. Uh, course play is running both combines and course play is running both grain carts. And while I have seen course play get stuck a few times, I've also seen course play literally back up, reevaluate, or at least that's what it looks like. I and mean, it looks like it reevaluates what's going on and gets out of the way and fixes its own self. So I just let that go for a minute. Let's see what's here. Um, anyway, I was in the process of uh, taking a truck back to the farm here. Uh, we're keeping the trucks running here. looks like uh, that truck there is probably either full or really close to being full as well. I've taken several loads back here already. And then as you can tell, too, we got a lot of bailing to do. And, well, probably just a lot of field work in general here, right? Uh, once we're done with the corn, by the way, of course, we still have the soybeans to harvest here yet as well. And I only have the one header for that here at the moment, the one combine. Uh, we might want to look at maybe uh, picking up a second header here. That probably would be a really good idea here, I think. Uh, again, the field 41. I think that's the number, right? Yeah, field 41. Uh, no slouch either as far as fields are concerned. Field 41 is also a good-sized field. So it's going to take a few minutes to harvest that one as well. And again, speaking of harvest, I mean, we're actually uh, cruising right along on this field. There. I am actually very surprised at how quickly, well, maybe I shouldn't be, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still very surprised at how quickly it is going. You know, again, we're running two John Deere X9s with 20 row, 20 row uh, corn heads. A bit of an odd number there, if you ask me, but that just seems to work better with forest place. So, yeah. it's what it is, right? Auto drive. When I was running auto drive for the combines, I mean, auto drive did not seem to mind the 24 row heads quite as much. So, I don't know. Uh, course play likes to be a little bit closer to the combine. I'm not sure. And by the way, I could have auto drive drive this uh, truck back to the farm as well. I probably would have to fix it uh, maybe once or twice. Uh, going around the corner back there. Yeah, well, you folks have seen it. Auto drive sometimes doesn't do so well in that corner. And then also auto drive very frequently misses the uh, turn here as well. Hey, again, I'm just all the gates and stuff on this map here. It is a bit of a tight turn getting in here. I wonder if I can do this. Just have uh, train drives where we want to go there. Actually, no, that's the wrong way, isn't it? I just realized that. Stop this here a minute. Grain dryer needs to be down here. Oh, that's that's not the wrong dry creek. I don't know why that one's open. Uh, I need Century Farm. There we go. Drain dryer. And this one needs to be field 42. Let's try that. There we go. Hoping the truck will unload on the drain dryer then. And once he's done unloading, he will drive back. Usually don't have a problem with that one. Usually auto drive drives back just fine. It's the uh, drive there that causes the problems. Yeah, okay. This is not sorting itself out. So... I'm not sure who's supposed to be doing what here. The other is, uh, what's the other truck doing here? Or oh, sorry, not the other truck, the other grain cart. Grain cart is empty. He is on, okay. That combine looks like it wants to go start harvesting again, but it's full, so I'm not sure what it's trying to do there. Are you off?
At least uh, we'll unload a little bit here from the uh, combine in a minute. And yes, you can start unloading as soon as the car starts to open. Also, I just thought of something here. That combine should not be this close. They're supposed to stay 100 meters apart. That might be part of the problem there. I'm not sure why that combine is that close. That is probably your problem right there, bud. Why the uh, combine's not listening to the... And, and, and maybe I have the wrong setting here, bud. I just assumed it was the convoy setting that should uh, keep the combines apart. Here, but maybe it's a different setting. I don't know. Maybe they're just like in the wrong spot. You no, know, normally our course play always did uh, calculate the convoy distance even going around the headland and stuff, so I'm not sure why. I was thinking maybe at the headland there, maybe it wasn't calculating the convoy properly, but at least in the past it always has. Okay, well that truck should be going on load. Looks like this combine is coming to, or this Grain cart, boy, get my grain carts and combines right here. This grain cart is coming to unload a combine. I think one of the uh, reasons uh, the harvest is going so quickly, everyone, and I've said this a couple of times now, one of the things course play does differently from auto drive is course play will unload on the go, everyone. Auto drive, at least in my experience, does not typically unload on the go. Auto drive is always a stop and unload process. Course play, though, again, I mean, you'll see it. Uh, course play will be unloading on the go all the time. Uh, again, if you keep that combine like almost constantly moving, that one, it makes a big, big difference uh, for how quickly you can harvest here, right? And again, so far, like I said, with uh, with course play, probably not quite keeping the combines moving constantly, but we're doing a pretty good job. I mean, the, the combines are rarely stopped, and they're rarely stopped for long. Mind you, they might stop in this case here, because again, uh, that grain cart needs to unload here, so a little bit of a downtime right there, maybe, but once we get uh, both grain carts going, usually those combines just stay rolling. Okay, we'll take the next uh, truck in here. Time to get this truck taken in. I'm betting that truck's going to be about full here as well, one. Coming uh, truckers here this episode, apparently. Yeah, hopefully I can get out of here with that uh, truck in the way. Got steerable axles on the back, so that does make a difference. Okay, I'll just tell you to uh, continue driving there. I'll pull this one in the field here in a minute. And then, like I was saying, we'll have to go fix that truck here in a moment. More than likely, it will not make it into the farmyard. I don't know, maybe if I uh, play around with the auto drive route a little bit, maybe I can make that better. I don't know. Uh, again, by the way, I am using an auto drive route uh, from the auto drive guy on YouTube. So this is not a route other than a few of the new ones I have recorded. Uh, this is all a route that I downloaded. So again, if folks want to download this auto drive route, find that in the link down below in the description of this video here. So maybe you're uh, just playing this map and you want an auto drive route for it. My, I mean, might as well, right, Owen? Why uh, why take the time to record all your own routes? Just uh, download one. This one works pretty good for the most part. Uh, it doesn't have any field routes in it. And like I said, I do have trouble getting in and out of gates and stuff like that. Just to be honest, I, mean, I don't think I can necessarily do any better. You know, maybe if I play around with enough, I probably could. But just the, the gates are narrow. There's not a lot of room to turn around in here, so... Yeah, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, look at how uh, close this tractor is here to this head. Probably the reason we were having a row, uh, problem with the 24-row head. Not really room for another two rows, is there? I mean, it would be right on the border there. 
mind you with that being said, I mean, I'm not necessarily a big fan of running the 20 roll head either. Just a, it's a weird number, and it, you know, for real life purposes, doesn't really line up with your planter either. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure, like, what planter would this line up with? I would have, to have like a 20 roll or a 40 roll planter or something. I don't know. This this might not even be a real head configuration. I'm not sure of it. I don't think I've ever heard of a 20 row foreign header. Mind you, they might exist somewhere. I don't know, but uh, I don't think I've ever heard of one. Okay, is this next truck full here too? By the way, yep, it is. Okay then. Wow, keeping the trucks rolling here this episode. Been keeping them uh, rolling in between episodes too. By the way, for those you wondering, uh, that's mainly what I've been doing is just uh, running the trucks. You have one. Which uh, reminds me, I need to go get some uh, propane for our dryer here. We'll get this uh, truck out to the field, or out to the road here from the field, and uh, we'll turn auto drive on here. Again, we'll probably have to fix it, but at least it'll drive 90% of the way. And on the rare occurrences, it will drive 100% of the way. So those are rare occurrences, unfortunately. Okay, turning you on. And if we go over to the farm here, yep, I see uh, a truck that's right at the entrance here. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Just out of curiosity here, if I look at this here. Yeah, if I was to maybe like uh, adjust this and make it a little bit closer, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe that would help. Like I'm making that a little bit closer, might make that better. I don't know, but hard to say. Or maybe auto drive would just uh, follow its route a little bit closer. That might help too, right? Just saying, you know. Okay, do I have a truck? Okay, there's a truck back here. That is the one that's on our fuel tank, which, sure, might as well take it. Had to uh, fuel up both combines in between episodes here. Again, for those who watch the live stream. We did, yeah, both combines on the live stream. I think it was both of them, if I remember correctly. Read that it was one during the live stream and one shortly thereafter. Actually, I should check. Do I have a larger tanker than this? I don't think I do, do I? Going to look at one. Let's see, do I have a larger tanker over here? Uh, mind you, these are probably a little bit larger, maybe, but... No, I don't think I do, do I? Hmm. Might have to maybe I'll look in the future about investing in a larger tanker to hold a little bit more propane here, because probably have to make a couple of trips here to get enough uh, propane for this. Mind you, again, I, I can buy it through the menu as well, one. I'm just assuming going to buy it this way is probably cheaper. Although, knowing a Giants have I probably should not assume that, right? Bulk buy. We want row paint. No. Okay. I was thinking the truck's going to turn there. No. Uh, actually, that might be a good way. Of, well, no, there's a gate there, too. That might not necessarily help. Uh, one single route down this road here again, by the way. So for those of you who have not seen the auto drive route before, there is just one single line, uh, a bi-directional line on this road. Uh, I think that's true of pretty much all the gravel roads here, by the way, on the map. So a little bit annoying when you're running multiple pieces of equipment. I you know, like what you just seen there. Yep, kind of tends to happen a little bit. Okay, I think everyone's doing good over there. Let's go grab the baling tractor here. Which is our Fent 1042 here, by the way, with triples on the back. Oh, looks mean that way, doesn't it, everyone? And we'll just start in the field here, right across the road from us. And we should have a course play course for this one field. 45, right? Got to double check here, man. That one field 45, no, 44. Field 44, 13 and a half meter rake, load, activate, first waypoint, 
apparently must be back there somewhere. I don't know why, but it's, uh, I guess that's where it is. And then we'll get the rake off the field here. I shouldn't need the rake here for the next field. The field 43. I ran the... Actually, no, wait a minute here. That's right. I do need the rake on this field. Oh, and you know what? I do have one. Okay, good. I neglected to uh, save the uh, course play course on that field there. Oops. Probably should have saved that. Oh, well. So I guess we're heading over to that field here next then. I see a 15 meter right fail at, this is 13, hmm. Interesting, it says it's a right bail course. I guess we'll give it a try, see what happens here. I might have missed uh, name that uh, course a little bit. I think there's a way to rename them, isn't there? Maybe not, I thought there was. Pretty sure there is. Not Why can you not calculate a path? What did you do? Do I want to know? Probably not. Hmm. We'll look at that in a minute here. I'm not sure where the truck went to a one. Reminder, while we're uh, traveling to the field here, if you haven't uh, already clicked the uh, subscribe button, don't forget to do so. Always very much appreciated. And of course, once you are subscribed, Make sure you turn on your notifications there as well. Get notified when the latest, greatest Upper Mississippi River Valley episode goes live. And, of course, if you want to give the video a thumbs up, that also is very much appreciated. Okay, I don't know where this uh, course starts. I guess we'll find out here. Field 43, load that up, activate. Hmm. It says the work width is 14.8. I guess. I'm a little concerned. Is that the uh, rate course or is this supposed to be a harvest course? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Eh, we'll pull the trucks in the field here a minute. This is the uh, part that I do not have like fully automated here, everyone. I am manually running the trucks. Nice thing about uh, course play with this, though. It doesn't really matter where I park the trucks here. Got to park them somewhere on the field, and course play should find them. For course play's sake, I should probably go park them a little bit further down, but yeah, we'll call this good. I would think at this point, I would, we probably would have enough trucks here to hold uh, what's left on the field, I would think. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, there we go. Pull that uh, good. Looks like the harvesters are still rolling yet. Oh, we might even, uh, how many we got? 10 more minutes this episode? Uh, we probably won't quite finish it here this episode, Evan, but I mean, you just look at how much we've finished here this episode already, Evan. It's, uh, it's quite amazing here, if you ask me. I, again, I, I think a lot of this has to do with the fact that horseplay, like you see right now, Evan, is unloading on the go. So this combine won't stop unless something happens. Which, you know, always possible. Or, you know, again, we do have one grain cart that's emptying here at the moment. So, possible this grain cart won't be able to keep up with both combines at the same time. Looks like the grain cart's turning around. I'm going to go unload that combine now. J 
Just from what I've noticed too, course play seems to be a little bit quicker uh, about getting to its destination. I noticed with auto drive, and uh, for those of you who played with auto drive, maybe you noticed this as well, uh, especially when it comes to pathfinding. Uh, auto drive usually eventually gets there of them, but I've noticed auto drive will sometimes stop sometimes. And well, you've seen it on the videos too, and sometimes auto drive will make a couple of rounds around before it finally gets like lined up where it's happy. Um, I, I don't know why auto drive does that sometimes, but it'll pull up in what is the right spot in my opinion, and it works. And then it'll just drive off and come back around again. And I don't know why it does that sometimes, but yeah, you don't see any of that uh, silliness here with course play. Oh, things I never thought I'd do. I've been using course play here again for unloading combines. For those who remember back in Farming Simulator 19, I kind of uh, disowned course play for this type of work. Probably even said I was never going to use it again. Well, I don't know if I ever went that far, but uh, I definitely uh, was not happy with it back in Farming Simulator 19, shall we say, everyone? But 22, everyone, course play is doing a phenomenal job here so far. And I was talking about this on the live stream here. If I had one complaint about it, everyone, that's the fact that course play will only unload course play. Unfortunately, so if I drive the combine, course play will not come unloaded. That's kind of why I'm not driving the combine, everyone, although I'm just riding along at this point. But yeah, if I were to drive the combine, course play will not unload me. So I'd have to use auto drive for this. But yeah, if I were on to run two combines, that sounds a little complicated. One, yeah, I don't know. I guess we could figure it out if we have to, but both are running on course play. We're working pretty smoothly here so far, one. They've got bales appearing. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't, you know, like appear to be anything here. Probably just the way the, the field is raked, I guess. Get a few missing, uh, I think I see another missing one that's over here, too. It's hard to tell here from the, actually the wind rose, but. Oh, and that's right. Before we forget, we got to go fix the truck here. I don't know where the truck is. That is probably the truck. Okay. What in the world is the truck doing down here? Apparently, auto drive thought it was going to go off-roading here again or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's turn you back on. Back to go get some propane now here again. See if we can, like, actually you know, make it all the way down there. That'd be kind of nice. Maybe I should turn the speed down. <laughs> it's set to, like, okay, uh, crazy warp speed. Let's, let's maybe, uh, let's maybe do, like, 55 or something just to be safe. How, how's that sound? Maybe you can uh, keep it on the road that way. Even at 55, we should get there nice and quickly. Five, there we go. Yeah, we'll just turn both of them down to 55. Nice, safe speed that way. Woohoo, that's a turn. Oh, I had him face in the wrong direction. Whoops. Not bad. We'll let him uh, figure out uh, where he's going. I guess he should turn around here at some point, I presume. Oh, and I love it. We might just finish here this episode. I didn't think we would, but we've got a few minutes left here yet, and this combine is... Uh, it's probably got one more pass after this, but looks like it's going to be a mostly empty pass. I see the stop over there, and looks like it's out in the middle of almost nowhere. We just need to get a grain cart here over here to unload them. Looks like they're both on their way. Oh, this grain cart's almost empty, though. Or, uh, empty. Needs to be empty, though. Uh, Killen was saying, heading over to the uh, comments here, by the way. Uh, corn and beans are the only crops plant and harvest. Uh, I've got the mod ooh, that allows all crops to make straw and use corn for silage. Speaking of uh, crops that make straw, by the way, uh, one of the uh, DLCs that is supposed to be coming out here this fall, I think it is. I have to go look at the date on that again. Uh, it's the post add corn fodder, and I'm not sure if some other stuff too, but uh, at the very least it looks like it's supposed to add corn fodder 
to the base game. So we don't need to mod for that anymore. Uh, Hatcho saying, great video. Uh, Artie Allen giving a good lesson on course play. Well, hey, hope you enjoy it. Again, uh, those of you maybe never used course play before, I'm, course play's never been easier to use, in my opinion, at this point. I went, um, in the past, for those of you who remember previous versions of the game, for doing grain carts and stuff like this, I mean, you'd have to record all your routes and all that good stuff. You don't even have to do that anymore. I don't know if you even can anymore, to be honest, that one. Now you just park a trailer on the field and of course they will automatically find it and unload into it. So, so much easier. And uh, sometimes uh, you might have to like select the field. So you just click this little one here, one, and then you uh, go pick the field on the map. Sometimes you don't even have to do that though. You just literally click the green button that one and course plays off to the race is unloading. I don't know the uh, reasoning why sometimes you have to and sometimes you don't. My my theory is that when if you like start the game with the tractor on that field, then you probably don't. That's my theory, but I could be wrong. Uh, Norton was saying I usually put run the grain cart for the headland pass before putting it on course play. Eliminates some of the shenanigans. Yes. Uh, what Norton said here, very very true of one. I had a lot, I shouldn't say a lot of problems, but I had problems with course play on this field running the headland, the first headland anyway. Uh, and that's mainly due to this ditch here along this side. I think it's along, yeah, this side and then this side here. Course play kept trying to drive in the ditch all the time. And then you got poles along this side here as well, so it kept getting stuck. But once we got past the headland, I mean, I didn't really have any issues after that. Uh, Keith was saying if money is an issue, I would park those two uh, Demco grain carts and lease the 2,200 bushel Demco and just use that on fields 41 and 42. I don't know, if we park, uh, I think it's better off having two grain carts, even if you have two smaller grain carts as opposed to one larger grain cart here. At least that's going to be my opinion anyway. Because yeah, this way, when this grain cart here is going to unload, well, the other grain cart is still over here yet. Hopefully uh, doing some unloading. Ooh, maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. Or just a little bit here. Just gonna wanna keep the process moving. I don't know if uh, auto, or if course play would eventually figure that out or not. I'm not sure of one. Uh, again, like I said, if you watched the live stream here last night, there were several instances where I thought course play was like, oh boy, we're going to fix it. But then, nope, course play figured it out and got it working. Ooh, that's, what are you doing there, course play? I was just saying good things about you here, course play. Come on. Oh, yeah, see, see, that's what I was talking about. Course play was backing up on its own there. Uh, if I would have just waited there a minute, course play would have fixed itself. With that being said, it looks like it should finish unloading the combine here. Something didn't quite go right there. Uh, Kalop Cesar was saying, good video. What's the next map you're going to play on? That is an excellent question. Uh, I was actually thinking about that here this week. Everyone, we're already up to episode 50... 50 something, is it 55? I think we're episode 55 here already, right? I have to go look at my episode numbers, that one. But oh, wow. With that being said, I mean, I'm still liking playing on this map here so far, so we might uh, we might stick with the map here just a little bit longer. I'm not sure how much longer, but. I mean, after all, we just bought Field 41 here. Just bought a second combine. Seems like we at least need to use them for a little bit longer here.
Well, Evan, looking at time here, looks like it is unfortunately time to wrap it up here for this episode. I guess we're not going to quite finish the harvest here, but we are really close, Evan. Uh, this combine here looks like it's finishing the last full pass here, and then we got, what do we got? Six, like six rows left after this, so partial, partial row left, Evan. We're almost done. If we probably hadn't gotten stuck down here and had to unload grain carts and all that good stuff, and we probably would have finished yet this episode. But oh well, we are almost done. Uh, next episode, we'll probably come back and start on the uh, soybeans. Plus, like I said, we got lots of baling to do. Uh, we'll probably plant some wheat here this uh, fall as well. Get some winter wheat going. So yeah, stay tuned for the next episodes, Owen. Thanks for watching. If folks have any comments and or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And until next time.